and welcome back. Off we go to the cistern. The red taint burst from the walls as if they had begun to bleed. He cried out in fear, the spectacle began to consume the blue shimmer. Horror games are fond of bleeding walls. I mean, my brother had played uh, Eternal Darkness, I think it was, and the walls were fond of bleeding there too. Our basement wall leaks, but that's about it. Back back. You are conserving water from the spring. Oh. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking? Yeah, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like the water mill. Exactly. and I can get up there by uh, walking. It's probably time for our best friend, the rock. Rocks solve everything! Too bad you can't kill brutes with rocks. Or grunts with rocks. I think they're so smart. They're not so smart when you hit them with the rock. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going, and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon, where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. So apparently Alexander... What on earth was that? So apparently... Ah, jump. Apparently, the uh, Alexander is not only uh, a man containing a sexy voice, not only apparently telepathic, given that he spoke to us in the control room. What? Video games just teach you to hate water. Uh, but he's also a wizard. That was dumb. That was also dumb. Oh, great. Now I'm barely conscious. Maybe it's time to use law in them. I don't know. Solving puzzles seems to not only make you more sane, it also makes you healthier, so. I've actually never used any law in them. Which I believe has opium? I think? I think it'd be really dangerous to do this without medical expertise, but so would everything else to do. 8th August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, 
but I have a bad feeling about this. So do I. I'm reminded of Star Wars, in which everyone had a bad feeling about everything. Video games, like all humans, love three. What? No, 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 no. Go away. But I didn't see the sanity increase, and one guess that's not it. Oh, but yeah, video games teach you to hate water. There's always something in the water that's awful and terrible and evil. Look at Ratchet and Clank. Jack and Daxter. Uh, like Psychonauts. This. Okay. Really doing pretty good. Pretty well with that. And I'm back up to only a few cuts and bruises. Yay. I don't really see much use point in using the water. No. Oh, no. 9th of August, 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. All right. Uh, actually, before I turn this next valve, because I suspect that'll probably be the last one, considering I just found the last note, uh, I'm going to find the way out. I kind of suspect that the moment I uh, turn all four valves, something terrible is going to happen. I mean, you, I keep hearing apparently splashing, or thinking I do. I just don't. No, I don't like this. Okay, so that's the way out. Let's see. Let's see if I can retrace my steps. I just jump down here. Stop! Ah! That is not much of a jump. I'm pretty sure that thing is yelling at me. Arr. On the stairs. Stairs, stairs, stairs. That's a jump. 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 Daniel, you are terrible at jumping. Next part, I'll just finish up this last one. See you.